Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Cooking with Stephanie. Good morning, good morning, everyone, on this Bliss Tuesday. Today, we're cooking breakfast. It's breakfast time. It's breakfast time. We're going to we're gonna have pancakes. I'm going to show y'all what we're having. We're having pancakes. We're having grits. And I'm also going to put salt and pepper in there because I heard someone say, where are your um, seasoning? So, hey, I'm putting salt and pepper up in there. Salt and pepper going in my grits. It's me and my husband. Off day today, this is salt I'm using. And this is the pepper I'm using. So, I just want y'all to see everything that I'm using before I get started. I'm also going to use some butter. I'm going to put butter in my grits and stuff. So, let me get this party started. Go ahead and I put some salt and pepper up into my um water so these are connectors we're gonna do this so please like comment and subscribe not gonna hold this video long go ahead and put this over here go ahead and do my pancake mix and i'm also with the pancake mix these are my eggs we don't need that many eggs two eggs you know um <clears throat> with the um pancake mix i'm gonna go ahead and mix it up i'm gonna use the other bowl because i want room to stir my pancake mix so yeah great value at this best pancake mix this is good and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use whole milk up in my um in my pancakes and um that's what it's gonna be so please watch my whole video like comment and subscribe okay we're gonna go ahead and pour some milk up into the um using whole milk go ahead and pour some milk up into my pancake mix whip it up and i'm also add just a little water but not that much it's buttermilk pancakes but i just like to add the milk in there and i'm gonna add a little bit of water up in there and i'll be back and when we get to the stove now let me leave this out I'm going to add a little milk to my eggs. And you're going to say, why are you adding milk to your eggs? It make your eggs fluffy. Just a little milk. You don't need a whole, whole lot. Just a little. And I'm going to put just only a little salt and pepper in my eggs. Because I haven't, you know, can't use too much salt. No, can't use too much salt. So, they're just plenty right there. And I'm going to go ahead and whoop these eggs up. And we're going to cook the eggs. Well, they're going to be having their own separate skin, but we're going to go ahead over here to the stove. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use butter. We put on here, I usually use olive oil when I'm um, doing my pancakes. But we're going to go ahead and call this brunch because it's like 9, um, almost 10 o'clock. Got up a little late. Need that rest when you're off on your off days. You need that rest. So, you know, I have to get my rest in so I got up a little late. I did wake up, but I ended up falling back to sleep. We ended up falling back to sleep. We got up early. Had plans this morning, but, you know, there's always, a, you know, God changes things. We need to get that rest instead of going all, every time we off, we always go off. But, you know, it's good. Rest, rest, rest. It's much needed. So I'm going to go ahead and um put my pancakes on here. This is a non-stick pan. And, hey... I just have to have that butt on now. So we're gonna go ahead and whoop these pancakes up, put them on here. I know y'all like the short videos. I said I was gonna start posting more than just shorts on here. Um, a lot of people like short videos. I have a video now that I have to put together. I don't do Secret de Maya, but I made a video on it doing tacos. Um, I did tacos on that day. We used to do, you know, eat tacos. That was a good opportunity for me to just hook it up, the tacos and stuff. You know, that's how I usually do. Um, so I'm going to be posting that video when I put it together. You know, y'all said that's over with, but tacos ain't over with. You can, you know, tacos every day, you know. But anyway, it's about the pancakes, this crunch. So this is what I'm doing. I don't usually put this many on here. I just that many on there. So anyway, you want to let them cook. Go ahead and let them cook. And I don't don't have your fire too high because you'll cook your um pancakes too fast. And then when you cook your pancakes too fast, they can easily burn as well. Yeah, I say I had the water blow 
boil well i don't know if y'all see the water i know y'all see okay there go the water boiling over here i'm finna get ready for my um grits quaker grits i like the great value grits better i'm just gonna tell y'all a lot of people like the quakers but i like the great value grits they are smooth they just smooth grits i'm telling you i just like the great value grits my husband bought these because he said he didn't see the great value but knowing him you know it's okay he bought them but i like the great value grease they are much smoother and like these quaker grease they have like the little mixture of stuff up in there the grinds but the great value grease are so smooth i like them so the quaker grease i can't put too many i think i over put too many up in there and make sure your fire is not high, cook, high cooking up under your grease either and a lot of people add milk to their grease. I tried that. I don't too much care for it. It thickened the grease up. To me, the grease are already thick, especially the Quaker grease. And um, so I tried the milk. I ain't, I don't care for the milk up in the grease. And my husband don't either. If he come in here, he see me put milk in the grease. He's like, why are you putting milk up in the grease? You know, so we're going to let them cook and watch them and stir. Because if you don't, them grease will lump up. Yes, they will. And these are our pancakes. It took me a minute to use this um this um skillet that came with the um pot set, so you could tell I've been using it. I started using it last year for Christmas um breakfast, and you could tell I've been putting some use to it. You know, sometimes you have stuff in the cabinet you don't you, you have to put it to use. So hey, I don't want to slap. Oh. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? That's all right. I made a mess. That's why I don't usually put too many on here, but it's okay. It's all right. So I don't usually put that many on here. So I'm going to take that little part off and throw it away, and I'll be back. Okay, what I'm getting ready to do now is get this camera together. Um, flipping these pancakes back over. I'm going to take these pancakes off of here and put them on the... Um, on a plate and I have the grits going. I'm adding my um cheese to them up in a little bit as you see. I have my little bit of skillet right here. These are for for my eggs. I usually don't do that because I don't want to mess up the bottom of that skillet. So we're gonna go ahead and put some butter. Oops. Little bit of skillet. I could have used one skillet but I said I'm not gonna do all it. So anyway we're going to go ahead and get this skillet ready. We're going to put our eggs in there. Whip the eggs up real quick. Go ahead and whip these eggs up with this little plastic spoon. Yeah. We're going to hook them up. There go the eggs. All right on in now. I use I'm supposed to, oh goodness, I forgot to mix my own cheese up in there with my Stuff, but that's all right though we'll get it together we're gonna throw them eggs in now i mean that cheese in the eggs right now in that middle um i usually <laughs> you won't think it get blazed up like that but that middle eye is just some i'm telling you um i'm gonna pour it, get some cheese up in there my hands are clean go ahead and put that cheese up in there put some cheese on these bricks off of here yeah cheese on the grits over here yeah i love cheesy grits and then like the cheesy grits my husband had bought me a block of cheese that's what i should have put on there he had bought one about a block of cheese and we usually use that cheese for the grits and we're gonna go ahead and flip them eggs too but like i say you gotta keep these grits stirred too because you don't want them lumpy and humpy Our eggs are ready. I even turned the fowl for our grits because you can turn the fowl for your grits. You don't want the grits, you know, to be so not, you know, when you cook them, the liquid go out on them and they just be thick. You want them grits to be just right. And I also added some more cheese to my grits and they are off. And I'm going to go ahead and put these connectors on here. Probably put a couple more pancakes and then do the connectors. These are the last pancakes right here. And after this, we're going to put them connectors on here and we will be done. Oh, I can't leave my coffee. I, I was going to do some tea, but I'm going to go ahead and do the coffee. 
Look at those pancakes. Now we had a Canel because I always rinse my meat off before I cook it. And that's what I did. I rinsed the Canel because off before I cook, put them on here. And I'm going to also add some vinegar to my canecles. You say, what's the vinegar is for? You know, pork. Put vinegar on your pork. It solves the headaches and all that. I tell you, if you don't have no vinegar, use a little mustard on it. Mustard has vinegar in it. Either you can use apple cider vinegar on your, um, on your um, pork. If you don't have regular vinegar. But I use the white vinegar almost out of it. So, hey, we have plenty apple cider vinegar up in the cabinet, and that's what I use if I don't have enough. People use apple cider vinegar to help lose weight and stuff, but you best to believe it. It works. So, put them on here for a minute. Got this vinegar from the Dollar Tree. Everybody sell vinegar. So, hey, I'm going to pour the little that I have on here. I'm going to pick up me some more. Maybe today or tomorrow. But usually if I cook any pork, I put it on that. I even put it on there for my chicken. It kills that chicken smell. You know what I mean? It kills the chicken smell. So, if you use it for the chicken as well, it kills that smell. So, hey, we're going to go ahead with this. And y'all be back when I'm playing up. Okay, this is breakfast. I was getting ready to take the heads from his breakfast, and he came up here. You have the fruit, the capaya, the grits, the um, canelka sausage. You see the pancakes with the syrup and the eggs, and I also have juice and coffee. Y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching my video. Blessings.